the Jetson uh, company sent me the basket for review on the website but I decided instead of uh, leaving a uh, written review I'll do this video review and also to show you how easy to install a nut on the Jetson Ball Pro this basket designed for Jetson Ball Pro perfectly supposed to be fit and it came in the box with no any packing like so it basically was inside everything was like this and um, hopefully everything is still there because um, it could easily be lost um, let's see what is inside a few things you would need to attach it some bolts some bend to use and uh, in order to get instruction how to install you have to scan it but I'll show you I actually first I want to show you the quality of the basket so it's uh, made out of steel feels like a little bit heavy but it's not bad looks like um, it does have some uh, wear over here you can see on the side and um, you probably dropped a few times and um, so far looks good uh, the painting it's not perfect on some area over here it's not perfect painting but come on it's just a basket so I'm gonna get um, before installing I'm gonna get a weight and see how heavy is this so I decided to take it inside because it's too bright outside and you won't be able to see the weight and I made it in grams and let's see how heavy it is so it's almost one kilo 1,000 gram or if you want to know in uh, pounds it's two pounds and 3.7 ounces so um, I think it will be a bit higher because there is a few more attachments I didn't include so I would say two pounds and four ounces in order to attach this basket you would need a uh, allen key and a wrench so I'm not sure what size exactly you would need I didn't check yet but you would attach like this so you would need to remove you would remove this uh, uh, fender the rear fender okay because you're gonna attach it there and then reattach the fender back I'm not sure how easy it's gonna be to reattach it but we'll see okay the fender is off so to make it much easier uh, it's already for some reason somebody pre-assembled uh, the basket over here I'm gonna remove this piece because I can attach first this piece and then reattach the basket that would be much easier also the basket came uh, not perfectly straight this um, years I'm not sure what the column I'm not sure if they're on purpose like this I'm gonna just leave it as it is right now but later on I might straighten up and here's how you do it to close up so you would remove it from the basket maybe you will have it separate I'm seeing this basket was returned so that's why it was attached already to the basket so you would just insert over here with a bolt the one you removed already from your bike so you would just reattach on this side and you would use a five millimeter allen key so it's the same bolt the one you removed I'm not sure if they come with this special bolt like um, because looks like um, it might be lost and maybe they plan that you're gonna remove this uh, bolt from your bike and just reattach it that's what they most likely because this basket is special designed for just bolt pro so you would reattach it like this the next step you take this um, piece like this this plastic one remove this uh, seat post I'm not sure why but this seat post is actually very tight on this bike and you would insert it maybe you need we'll see I'm just gonna put it right now like this you can always okay and then um, 
you would attach the basket. So you would have uh, two attachments. One is uh, from the seat post over here, and one is to this metal pieces. We we'll just put it on top of the. Yeah, you can put it. Oh, okay. Yeah, you can just put it on top of the seat post and insert it. Yep. Oh, okay. Now it works. So you just like this. So you would just uh, attach these two pieces. I would remove also from the basket because much easier to be. And you would attach this with the bolts, so it will be more movable for now. So I would attach right here. So it looks like it's all the way to the end. So you would attach another bolt right over here, another one over there. So you just simply take this bolt and insert it. And I did straight now these two uh, years. I'm not sure what they called call them for, but I did straight now. It was uh, pretty simple and. Um, you would uh, use a spacer between and also the bolts that come with and then I would do the same thing on another side then you would use this bolt to reattach this basket over here you just um, I will just attach it right now and then I will tighten up all the bolts All right, so it wasn't that hard to attach it. I would say um, anybody can do it. And um, you just attach over here, as you can see, and it's use the clamp to close this. And then um, you are attach over here these bolts. Underneath tighten, and it feels solid. It's pretty good, and it's uh, cute. And I'll show you visual how much you can put in. You can put probably a gallon of milk easily, maybe two. If you feed, like, probably not, only one. Or also, you can uh, use this rubber band that comes with to uh, secure it. And that's how it looks. Uh, it feels pretty solid. And it's cute, a little basket, which uh, it's inexpensive, about $40, I believe. Uh, I will post link in description to Amazon. Uh, if you like to buy it from Amazon, or you can go to Ride Jetson. And, uh, it's made out of steel, it's one kilo weight, and it's not that hard to attach. And it can be attached, I believe, Jetson Bolt Pro and Jetson Bolt. Maybe some other models, I'm not sure. But I need just to re-tighten most bolts. But so far, it's very good. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. See you later.